snowing so hard. Dental surgery tomorrow morning. He potentially has a fractured tooth. So they're gonna do an x ray and do a dental cleaning. I'm hoping it's not a fractured tooth because he doesn't really have any pain. Hobie is actually a grandpa, he is going to be nine years old in a month. Hi, for Kobe. Kobe? Okay. A few hours later now, we got a call that Kobe's surgery went really well and he's ready to be picked up, but I think he's still going to be pretty groggy. What the? Hi, buddy. Hey. Much better today. He is actually awake. Took him for a little walk and he was smelling, doing much better. He ate a lot. He's actually really liking the mushy food. Feel better? It's Chinese New Year's Eve today and we're gonna head to my mom's place in Queens and we're going to have a dinner there. I think my mom is cooking. I'm excited to have a homemade meal. up some cakes from this bakery that I used to always go to with my friends. It's called Martha's Country Bakery and their cakes are so good. I love the Oreo cheesecake. finally got some Asian groceries and now I'm like, should I make udon or should I make fried rice? I think I'm gonna make udon because I have this, which is like a tempura udon. Then I also have some beef, so I think I'm gonna make some beef udon. but I always need a little side dish some kimchi and then my mom made me some pickled cucumbers and radish these are so good
I'm waiting for Samson, but I'm gonna try it first because I'm hungry. Mmm. Mmm. Looks good. I ate without you. Why? Because I was hungry. This is called Niku Udon. I think it's just beef udon. I've been eating a lot of noodles. It's because it's cold and it's nice and uh, soupy. Mm -hmm. It's comfort food. Why don't you bite? I'm about to head to the Colby Halperin show. I want to show you guys my outfit because I'm wearing his pieces and I love it. I feel like it's just so me. This is the look for today. I went with this black leather set. I think it's so cool. And just went with some black boots with it and this um, tube top with like a little side slit. A lot of silver accessories like the bag and the jewelry. Show starts at 5 so we gotta go. are back to our furniture shopping. We have some really cool pieces and I think I just found a nude side table that I really like. I found this light. This is really cool. Ended up picking out a new side table. I think the color of it is so unique and it will go well with our space. No, could it fit? Perfect. <laughs> there you go. Yay. Happy Valentine's Day. I'm about to head out to dinner. We're going to get omakase. I thought I would show you guys what I'm wearing for my scent tonight. This is my go-to date night scent. I love it so much. Ex Nikelio Lux in Paradise. And first of all, the bottle is beautiful. It smells so romantic and dreamy to me. It's floral, a little bit of lychee in it, which makes it fruity too. I just feel like it's like the perfect combination also a lot of you guys said that you wanted to see like a perfume a collections a video i feel like i have like a good amount of perfume but compared to like perfume content creators i obviously don't don't know if i have enough to make like a whole entire video i, I would just kind of share here a few of my go-to my favorites for different occasions start off with kind of like my everyday go-to's. My number one of all time is Byredo Gypsy Water. I think this is such a beautiful everyday scent. In general, I love a floral scent. I love a skin scent. I think a lot of niche perfume lovers love those where they gravitate towards a very specific scent. Personally, I really just love a fresh, clean, light floral, a little bit sweet kind of skin scent. If I were to only keep one perfume in my entire collection and wear it for the rest of my life, I think it would be Byredo Gypsy Water. This is just such a beautiful woody scent. There's sandalwood in here which I love. There's notes of lemon and bergamot and a little bit of pepper. I definitely smell a lot of the incense which is also one of the notes and vanilla too. Another one of my all-time favorite everyday scents, Diptyque Velocicos. This is so so beautiful. It's fig and it's like a creamy kind of fig. I don't know how to describe it. The fig note is just so nice and fresh. It smells green. This one is the EDT which has coconut in it and I love to smell like creamy coconut. The more recent favorite that I got from Michelle is the Santa Maria Novella in Cinquanta. This is so fresh to me. I feel like it kind of smells like soapy laundry. 
This has more of a floral note and it also is a little bit musky, which I love as well. It's very light and I think if you were to wear this to work or school, this would be a great option. Another favorite is Lalabo, the Matcha 26. This to me actually smells nothing like matcha. I can see that tea scent but it smells more like incense to me and again so fresh and clean and just like sophisticated it's a little bit citrusy it's a little bit woody another everyday scent that i have been absolutely loving is the tea fleur de peau this one is such a beautiful skin scent unless somebody is pretty close to you they're not going to really smell that and personally i like that a lot this to me smells really similar to glossier you they say this is a more sophisticated and like almost a little bit more mature scent than glossier you and i am pretty much all done with Glossier U. This has been one of my favorite for years and I use it so much. It's musky, it's powdery. I think this is also like a great layering perfume too because it's not that much of a strong scent. When I first smelled this, this really reminded me of that scent when you're like playing with your mom's like makeup and just like her beauty vanity when you were a kid. You smell that sweet powder. That's kind of what it smells like to me and I think that's why I really like it. I also got this um, during the winter. This is the Teak Udwell. It's really just straight up vanilla to me, but it's not overly strong, which again, I think I just like perfumes that are a little bit more on the subtle side. Wearing this by itself is nice, but I think it can be a little boring sometimes. So sometimes I do like to layer this, especially with like Velocicos recently. I've been loving how this brings a little bit more creaminess to it. If you are into like vanilla scents and you don't want something too, too strong, I think this is a good option for that. Speaking of layering scents, this is another one that I really love to layer and I think it actually is like a layering fragrance. This is Dead Cool Milk. I don't know, wearing it by itself, it doesn't really smell like much to me, but layering with something else, it just smells so good. Again, brings a little bit more creaminess. Let's quickly talk about perfumes that I like to wear for certain seasons. Replica Beach Walk. This one I specifically like to wear during the summer. This is my second bottle of it. Really just smells a little bit like salty skin when you come out of the ocean mixed with sunscreen. I don't know, maybe that's not everybody's cup of tea, but to me it smells so good. It smells exactly like summer and it's fresh, it's clean. Another replica perfume that I love is Jazz Club. This I have the smaller bottle with because I like to travel with this one. This one I love wearing for colder weather. There is tobacco in here. So if you don't really like a smoky scent, I don't know if you'll like this one. I love this one for like cozy weather. Okay, I'm almost done, but I want to basically share a few other options for like date night kind of scents or if you like more floral scents. This is Delina. It is one of my all-time favorites. It again has lychee and it also has rose. It is a little bit on the girlier side, I will say. I love how this smells after a little bit after it's sprayed because it fades into this beautiful, fruity, delicious kind of scent. Kind of everyday scent. Honestly, I would wear this every single day is um byredo boulder freak i love this this was my second byredo bottle this smells like the ultimate like cool girl um that is fresh that's clean but she like knows what she wants this is another great option for date night this is the valentino donna born in rome this is very woody and vanilla it has a soft spiciness to it and it is a little bit on the more powdery side. I think the main flower in this is jasmine. It has like this beautiful bergamot opening when you first spray it. I think it settles down into like a really nice powdery fruity floral. That's basically everything that I have been wearing recently. I have some other perfumes in my collection that I haven't been reaching for as much. I definitely have an addiction to perfume and just like smelling good have any other recommendations that you think I would like that's also on like the skin scent a little floral a little fruity a little musky let your girl know